Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome to video number two in our DNN 8 series. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the DNN 8 module and theme extension development templates for Visual Studio 2015. Now, I've been maintaining Visual Studio templates for DNN for quite some time, and with the release of DNN 8, I was fortunate enough to have some contributions from the outside in terms of development templates for the new platform. In this particular release, we've got support for Visual Studio 2015, the normal C Sharp and Visual Basic module development templates, and a new SPA template or single page application template that was provided by Joe Brinkman of DNN Corp. Now, in the video, I'm going to show you where we're going to go in Visual Studio 2015 to locate and install the templates. And then we'll go through and create a very basic first project utilizing one of the templates. Now I'm going to switch over here to my development environment, which is running inside of a virtual machine. Now this virtual machine has an instance of DNN running at the URL dnndev.me. Be sure to check out video number one in our DNN 8 series for setting up that local instance of DNN. In Visual Studio 2015, in order to install the templates, we're going to browse to the Visual Studio Online Gallery. Now we can do that by going to the Tools menu, to Extensions and Updates, and then in the Online section on the left, simply search for .NET Nuke. Now you should find that the templates appear here and are available for us to download and install here within Visual Studio 2015. And once we go through that installation process, it does open up a tutorial link. And if we close that browser, we can go ahead and restart Visual Studio so that those templates will be available to us within our project creation dialog. So we're going to go ahead and create our first module utilizing that newly available SPA template. We're going to do that by clicking on the File menu choosing new and choosing project. Now when you're creating a project utilizing these templates, they are built for DNN instances that are running at the local dnndev.me URL. If you want to use a different URL for your local development, you can download and modify the templates. We'll talk about the modification of those templates in a future video. Now within the new project dialog, you can see on the left side of the screen under Visual C Sharp, we now have a .NET Nuke entry. If you're using Visual Basic .NET, you will also find a .NET Nuke entry there. Now in Visual C Sharp, we've got our compiled module, compiled theme, and our DAL2 compiled modules that work in DNN7. We also have the new DNN8 SPA module template. So we're gonna choose that as our template and we're going to go ahead and create a module called SPA Time. Now the location of where you create this module is very important for these templates. You can customize that location, but it's highly recommended that you put the module into the desktop modules folder of your local DNN dev website. So I'm going to put this particular module into C colon slash website slash dnndev.me slash desktop modules. It's very important on the right side of the screen that you do not check the create directory for solution option as that can cause some path issues with your building of the project. If we go ahead and click OK, Visual Studio will go through the process of creating our module and then we'll open up that project here within our IDE. Now immediately upon opening, you'll find that Visual Studio will open up a documentation screen. We can go ahead and close that. You can browse that at another time if you would like. There's a couple of other files that open as well. We can go ahead and just close those. What we'll find on the right side in our Visual Studio Solution Explorer is a list of the files within this particular project. Now, diverging from your normal DNN modules, you'll find that there are no ASCX files within this particular project. There are HTML files. Now, if you're comfortable with the DNN development platform and the normal process, you'll recognize some of the file names here. We have edit, view, and settings. Typical controls that you would find within a DNN module. 
if you go ahead and open up the view module or the view HTML file here, you'll find that you have some basic HTML within this particular file. Now you'll also find that there are some tokens in line here in this HTML. Various tokens for including references to jQuery and Knockout and other JavaScript libraries. You can also include the module actions and then basic HTML here, inserting tokens for module ID and various other properties within our project. Now this view HTML file will have a corresponding itemview.js file. You can see the reference to that on the fourth line of the file. In the scripts folder, you'll find item view, and this provides some of the basic JavaScript references to the services that this view control is going to utilize. Now in this video, we're not going to go through the details of each of the files within this particular project. What we're going to go ahead and do is in the Visual Studio IDE, change from debug to release mode. And the reason we're going to do this with these Visual Studio project templates, as soon as you change to release mode and do a build, Visual Studio will build and package your module. It will create an installable zip file and a source zip file that you can then use for redistribution. Now the easiest way to get this module installed into your local DNN dev environment is to load up a browser and navigate to that local website. Now once the local website has loaded, we're going to go ahead and log in as our host or our super user account so that we can install the extension. Now within the control panel, which we'll review in a further video in our series, we're going to go to the host menu and go to the extensions option. Now on the extensions page, we're going to choose the install extension wizard. When we choose that, we have a modal window here which will allow us to browse for the file that we have just compiled as our packageable module. I'm going to navigate to the DNN dev folder, desktop modules, down to our spa time folder, and then we'll find an install folder. Inside of that install folder, we'll find the install and the source zip files. I'm going to go ahead and choose one of those, click next, and walk through the installation process. As we go through the various steps in the installation process, there's a couple of checkboxes we do need to check. And at the bottom, we can click return after the installation is successful. Now, once you've installed the module, it is now going to be available to you within the modules menu in the control panel. The easiest way to utilize a new module I find in a development environment is to create a new page and place that module on that page for testing purposes. So I'm going to do that here really quickly, skipping over most of the settings and configuration of the page, as we'll cover that in future DNN8 videos as well. I oftentimes, when I'm creating a page for a module to test, I will name the page as the same as the module. It just makes it easier to remember where I have things. Now at the bottom of the page, or the bottom of the settings, I'm going to choose the page template, none specified. This will allow me to create the page, but not place any existing modules on that page. The default template when you're creating a page in TNN will place an HTML module on that page. Because we're using the spa time module and the spa time page, we want to go ahead and only utilize that module on this page for testing purposes. Now that we're on the page, we're going to navigate to the modules menu in the control panel, choose add new module. And if we type in SPA, we can search for that module. From there, we can go ahead and drop the module on a page. And we now have an empty version of that module on the page. We go ahead and navigate to the edit pencil. We can click on add item. create the first content for our module. Now, actually, in order to create the content, I forgot, we do have to choose a user. Well, because this is a brand new DNN instance, I don't have any users available. So it's not going to 
be necessary to choose that user, but if you were to add users into the portal, as opposed to the host user, which I'm currently logged in with, we can go in and we can choose a user to assign that item to. As you can see, we now have a content listed here on the page. We can create another item. Let's just call this one item two. and click save and now we have the ability to go through and start creating content within this spa module now there's not much functionality here other than if you go to actually delete one of these entries choosing the delete option the content here will be deleted and if you watch the screen closely you'll find that the page does not refresh so it's not actually doing a post back to remove that content from the page. It's utilizing the services in the spa module and removing it directly from the page as well as from the database. Now, if we go ahead and reload the page, we'll find that only the remaining item is left. The deleted item is no longer visible here within the content in this very basic module. Now, in future videos within our DNN8 series, we'll talk more about this module and how you can build different functionality into your modules. We will also spend some time showing you how you can customize the module templates. Thanks for watching.